Hello guys, welcome to episode number two of our full playthrough of Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. I'm TJ. So, so in the, to give a quick recap of what happened in the first episode, so we've been called upon a case to investigate the, uh, a missing a missing person named Kamiya, uh, who was a Maori gentleman, a really big guy. And we're trying to figure out where he's at. After gathering some clues and investigating Stenwick's manor, excuse me, he seems that like he got dragged, uh, dragged out, uh, dragged out, and somehow he ended up—he potentially ended up in the port of London, which we're at right now. So we're going to continue on with the case and figure out, the, uh, solve the disappearance of Camilla, and hopefully we can find him alive or dead. And so right here we got the cursed mermaid. I feel like the cursed mermaid sounds like a bar or something from from the stinking city. A nod to one of Frogwares' uh, uh, earlier game or games from a few years ago. So we got that, and then we also learned that um, the the deduction scene right here is a little more detailed in terms of graphics. But it makes it easier because we can link certain things just based on the color of the spheres inside the deduction sphere. So notice the colors is yellow and green. And then you also have blue, so you notice the items is highlighted in blue, the observations highlighted in yellow, and the documented testimonies are highlighted in green. So this is a lot more easier to figure out how we can deduce certain clues clues, testimonies, evidence, things of that nature to solve to solve solve cases and so we have Soulsby's calling card pinned you see right there in the upper right I can change things here but uh, what I gotta do and based on the hint that we were provided on the upper left of the screen we can ask bystanders a certain piece of evidence which is highlighted in the upper right so I'm gonna give us a try and talk to some of the people see how this works out may I ask for your assistance I don't think anyone here knows the answer you should ask someone else I'm gonna try someone else is this familiar to you oh you're fortunate I will help you Excellent, good. I'll leave the hat on though, but I like this coat. Alright, so, you can be found somewhere near the docks. Yeah, this kind of does look like the bar from the Sydney City. Oh, hot, hot, reputable establishment. establishment. I've seen worse. Mm, so got moths attracted to the candles there. Is that a cat? Oh, there it is. Okay, I can't pet you. Weak. All right. Greetings, Miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in a ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down.
vomit stains. Wait, go back. What was the first one? Yeah, hold on. Is that morning sickness it is? Belly a bit distended. A little too tight. She's pregnant? She's pregnant. Let me give this a try. Your clothes are already tight, and soon they won't fit at all. How far along are you? I... I thought I'd hidden it better. How did you know? Are you a doctor? In a manner of speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. I would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. Are you familiar with a Roy Soulsby? Roy Soulsby? Hmm, I know the name. But he's not one of my regulars. My guess is that he works somewhere around here. It appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals. Can't blame them for staying at home. Ask for your assistance. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know anything. <laughs> the coffee won't go away, and the doctor's too pricey. Can I ask you a question? I can't help you with this. Are you able to help me? I can't help you with this. May I ask you something? I can't help you with this. The coffee won't go away. And the doctor's He's there a doctor. The man is very sick here. It sounds as though those people will need my help. going on here? What are you looking at? You like to Hello, this is Dr. Watson. We'll take a look at your friend. May I ask for your assistance? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. Just ask someone else. Could you help me? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. These guys twins? <laughs> Water has a curious whitish tinge to it. Freshly dug up treasures, it seems. Everything ends up in the river. Is that a lot? Is that a people take something from it? The subject is hyperventilating. He has a pale face and dilated pupils. Dilated pupils, decolor 
by skin necrosis. What do you make of this, Doctor? All signs point towards acute poisoning. It could possibly be due to chemicals. I won't jump to any conclusions yet. It's a large harbor. If our kidnapper is hiding here, finding him won't be easy. May I ask you something? It's a shame we can't answer your question. Oh yeah, that's right, you can't run in the water. <laughs> the coffee won't go away, the doctor's too pricey. Pile of rotten food. It carries danger, but not of the kind that we witnessed. Do you really want to be fishing after what we found down the river? Gruesome. It's been decomposing for weeks. If this were the origin of the disease, it would have started sooner than a few days ago. The waterway goes under the buildings. We need to find other open sections in order to continue our search. How can I help? I could try and flag someone down. The coffee won't go away and the doctor's too pricey. Can I ask you a question? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. Ma Dalton swears she saw ghosts in Warehouse 2. The coppers even went over there. Must be serious. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. May I ask for your assistance? I can't help you with this.
putting the picture upstream. I want to say it's that that part of the river that's in, on, the, on the upper part of the map that's next to the cracks. Let's see if that's where I can go. straight until it hit the end and make a slight right. A recent car crash. <laughs> Phenol? Is that what's causing this? A dangerous substance often used as a sanitizer coming from spayed chemicals. The fish's scales have decolorized. What a disaster. Stay out much longer. I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Can I ask you a question? I think I can help you. Warehouse five. This is a warehouse five. It's three, six, seven. Hold on. So five is that's four. Where's five? No, sir. I never heard of it. That's 12. Where the hell is 5? Ah, there's 5. Of this bloke right here, if he knows anything. Barrels of phenol from your company ended up in the canal. It has poisoned people. You will need to clean it up properly. Otherwise, we will inform the authorities. What the? We will call the cleaning brigade immediately. I hope this can stay between us. May I ask for your assistance? I can't help you with that, sir. Gentlemen, the doctor here and I have found the source of the contamination. 
spade chemicals will take care of it. That's, that's pretty good news. But how long will it take? And what about a friend? Will someone pay for his treatment? Pressurize the company. But for now, get rid of the stained clothes and rinse any phenol-affected skin. No one else should touch the canal today. Thank you. We'll do that. Let's go to the cheap doctor for help. Oh, good. And now let's do this. Snake doctor. We got the mask. We have the mask too. Okay. Good evening, Constable. I heard some people talking of ghosts in this warehouse. <sighs> oh, uh, gossips, all of them. An old lady neighbor saw some lights and ghostly shapes in the middle of the night. She heard music too. Turns out this was the warehouse of Grandpa Kujak. He owned a business with theater props for scary shows. I went in and... Well, it is a bit creepy. But I think it was probably just some kids fooling around. Do you mind if I take a look inside? Not at all. It's like Madame Tussauds, only worse. I'll be on the beat round the pub for the rest of the night. Damned explosion. Good night, sir. What could be worse than a Max, Max Museum? Yeah, this is definitely taking the page from the Sinking City. I mean, I, I recognize this structure. An effective contraption. It still works. <laughs> okay. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? They opened the casket and left marks. A herbal odor with an ethylic base. Liquor? There was a box in the coffin. It was removed quite recently. stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Who is this intended to scare? Phosphorus, used recently. Where is this going? Several crates are missing. Is that the crate that would be in the carriage? Let's keep on investigating. No brand or markings. It looks like a bulk product. Bottles of various shapes and sizes. I detect a mix of chemicals and aromas. Somebody had fun. 
We'll definitely use the boots to make the prints up there. Okay. Let's see what else is here. A small cart left those tracks. Inspired by the legend of Sleepy Hollow. That's most likely the ghost the old lady saw through the window. I'd like to think that possibility, but that boot played it out. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. Two more. I should have known the width of the car uh, carriage. Jeez. Okay. Somebody played with phosphorus to give the illusion of ghosts or ectoplasm. In reality, they were here to mix a few ingredients and prepare a solution of some sort. Then they took a box hidden inside the casket. And they left through that gate with a small cart. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? But, hold on, where did they... Is that it? Tippett's electric pectobrain, patent medicine of the future. This is a patent medicine. A quick fix at an expensive price that drags the patient slowly into death. So let me ask you if someone knows what that's at. Please. I think I can help you. And I think I know where. Let's go back here, but I have to use the restroom real quick. The coffee mug go away. The doctor's.
out I'm back sorry about that yeah it's pretty warm uh, where I'm at excuse me it went to the lower 80s now all right so back to what I was doing I needed to find the location of Dr. Uh, Dr. Tippett's electric pecto brain I think it's in the locked door that I passed by when I was trying to find the evidence of that poisonous uh, water stream Aha! It's just a kid. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Hello, lad. Is this where I may find Dea? You read the poster? Yes? You know where my brother Girves is? Sadly, no. Well, not yet. I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? Emma, my mother, she got sick after the hot, the fire, big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Now I am in charge. Where did you last see Girves? He worked at a, um, warehouse. This man, Roy Solby, gave him the job. He paid him a ne a necklace. Do you still have the necklace that Salisbury gave to Girves? Girves left it near the um, shrine. I tried to sell it to buy Amma um, medicine, but but no one wanted to buy. How would you describe this Salisbury? He was big and strong. Um, he had a big scary eye. Scary, you say? Yes, like, uh, like it was made of metal. Don't go anywhere. I should have helped Alma put out the posters. If she hadn't been in the smoke so long, maybe she wouldn't be sick. Okay, I went to the wrong house, but I progressed the story a bit. Let me find Dr. Tippett's. It's the shanty town. It should be here somewhere. Could you help me? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. May I ask you something? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. won't go away and the doctor's too pricey. Can I ask you a question? I can't tell you because I don't know. Ask for your assistance. Oh, sorry, I know nothing. May I ask for your assistance? Sorry, sir, can't help you. I don't believe in 
ghosts. I did when I was a kid. Yard to the second so wait, back here? Wait, wait, wasn't there an area full of beds? Hold on, let's go back. Where are this should we? be a, a field hospital. The patient has a high temperature and is short of breath. The cart full of stuff. The cart from warehouse two. I can hear the patient suffers with their lungs. Good evening, sir. Are you the gentleman who sells that intriguing Hecto Brain beverage? Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Dr. Thomas Tippett, and yes, it's proud inventor and purveyor. Are you a doctor? You seem remarkably young. <laughs> I'm self-educated. I help people in need around these parts with my medicine. Helping, as in bringing to the grave? Uh, that is unfair, sir. The virtues of my invention are to calm the nerves, to stop coughing due to the endless smog to help children to sleep. Has your beverage been tested? By your peers or any medical authority? I am a doctor, and it appears that you are playing with people's lives, people who place their trust in you to ease their pain. People need help, and drugs are expensive. My formula helps, and it's inexpensive. The product is dispensed from here only, so dose and usage are controlled. I looked into other patented medicines. They contain harmful or useless substrate. And they're sold in respected shops and pharmacies. Do you realize what you are doing? You are playing with people's health. You're a doctor. Take a look at my product. You won't find mercury, radium, lithium, or any other toxic substances drowned in alcohol and sold freely by so-called health professionals. I can show you how I work. Let me help people. Watson, what do you make of this situation? I, I'm not sure. Patent medicines can be a scourge, yes. But he is not entirely wrong in practice. Why the haunted warehouse? Well, nobody was using it, and people are afraid of ghosts. It kept them away until today. What I do is not entirely legal, but I do help people.
I help up to 50 people here every day. It is working. Constables chilling at the saw on the other side of this bar here. Constable, I'm afraid we saw some troubling signs, unnatural even, inside the warehouse. Dr. Watson here can confirm it, and he's a specialist. It would be best to stay away for now. Really? I'm 99% sure that ghosts don't exist, gentlemen. I won't report this to my colleagues after my shift. Some of them might be the naive sort who scare easy. Continue on. Could you help me? No, sir, I've never heard of it. over here.
Can I ask you a question? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing. satisfy my curiosity? I can't tell you because I don't know. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Are you able to help me? I wish I could be a valve, but I can't. Sorry. Ask you a question? <laughs> of course I know. To cut a long story short. Move on. So we just passed by piers one and two. Pier three should be on the other side of the ship here. for your assistance. Sorry, sir, I can't help you. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? I prefer beef wellington. In the mood, mate. Shoo! Oh, you look nappy as hell. Pardon me, sir. I am looking for Roy. Ugh, not again. Yes, I'm Roy. But I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Now, what makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. You say we are not the first to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who came inquiring? Hmm. I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name, but those are her posters hanging up everywhere. She has badgered me twice now, and I still don't know nothing. And this woman can be found? No clue. She was talking gibberish. May I ask what you're doing here? This is where the ship sank the other day. I'm trying to work out how we'll remove it. Was I? He's a customs officer. I don't think he would steal a watch. Let me see if he's a corrupt officer. What are you on about? Have you seen this before? My card? Where did you dig that up? At a crime scene near Baker Street involving a young servant's kidnapping, I might add. I... I... No. Someone used it without my consent. How else would it end up there? 
I have been told that you hired Dea's son, Girves, right before he vanished. His brother also said you had a metal eye. What do you make of this? Tell that him to stop making things up. That boat explosion stopped most traffic coming into the port. Guess I'll be without work for a while. You know, if we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Can I ask you a question? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about it. Ask for your assistance? No, sir, I've never heard of it. Is that her? Uh, are you are able you to help? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. But I don't know anything. <laughs> Something. I can't help with this. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Know anything about this? Sorry, Sorry sir. Connor. Talk with the young boy again. How about this? This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. Gervais, do you think he's okay? I'm sorry about my English. I try hard, but the rules don't make sense. It's stupid. 
If I need to, I'll work to support my family. Just like my brother. to the cursed mermaid the thought of walking in this fog courage to walk in this fog, but I'd have to walk through the fog to get to the pub. That's just cruel, that is. Have you ever heard of a man with a metallic eye? I've seen him even. Dirty Summers is the name. A nasty lout with a silver ball in place of a missing eye. I shudder to ask, but where does one find a dirty Summers? He likely signed on with a ship. I am not one to spy on others, let alone him. Hmm, I see. My advice, keep away from him. Doesn't look like anything to me. Have you been drinking? Never heard of it. Have you been drinking? What do you know about this poster? A foreign woman asked to put it up. She's plastered them all over the port. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. It was hard to understand what she was saying.
What can I get you? Alright, I guess we gotta go back. <laughs> Let me see if I can talk with him about Dirty Summers. What are you gawping at? I shall take my leave. What are you gawping at? Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. What, what makes you say that? A man named Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. Boulder Dash. Sorry, you lost me there. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. W what makes you say that? A man named Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. Your, your calling card. Your calling card was found at the crime scene. That's enough to make you a suspect. You cannot be serious. I mean, you are corrupt, aren't you? Where's it at? There you go. It's true. And that's before mentioning your gold watch. It's brand new and awfully expensive for a customs officer. Clearly, you have found yourself another source of income. I'm sure Scotland Yard will be delighted to investigate further. All right, stop. Look, it's not as it seems. I did not partake in the kidnappings. I'm all ears, Mr. Soulsby. Yes, I know, Summers. He paid me to turn a blind eye to his business in the warehouse area. Just that, on my word. You did not tell me which warehouse he used? I do not recall, but I used red paint to mark unsupervised warehouses. Ought to be one of them. What else can you say of Summers? He is a regular at the Cursed Mermaid. Goes there with his crew almost every evening. What for? I don't know. I assumed just for a drink. I need a little Dutch courage to walk in this fog. But I'd have to walk through the fog to get to the pub. That's just cruel, that is. I remember when we were passing the warehouses, there was some like red markings on the doors. Well, let's go to the Cursed Mermaid first. I have the feeling that you know more about Dirty Summers than you're letting on. I have nothing more to add, sir. Enough. I have hard evidence that Summers was involved in recent kidnappings across London. I'm not surprised. So what? Customs officer Roy Soulsby testified that Summers was a regular here. You must know something about his business. All I know is his drinks order. If the lives of the missing do not concern you, then I would urge you to think about your unborn child. Are you threatening me? Many people are missing. 
and the main suspect based himself in your establishment. One word to Scotland Yard and your life takes a turn for the worse. Now, spare yourself the trouble and tell me all you know. Okay, okay. Summer's hired my private room. I think he used it to recruit people, but I haven't seen him in a few days. He paid me cash, so I paid him no attention. Nor did I touch anything inside. Here's the key, go and do what you will. Just leave me out of it. After the incident the other day, it seems customers are staying at home. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up. Five shillings. That won't go far. Strange symbols. I don't recognize them. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Have you been drinking? What did you see of Summer's work here? He was recruiting people. It was like the whole world came through my door. People of all creeds and colors, but always strong, always tall. They seem like workers or journeymen. Beyond that, there's not much more to tell. I took his money and let him be. And this lasted how long? Several weeks, I wager. The people here are resilient. Tomorrow it'll all be forgotten.
Wrong warehouse. Nothing to see here. Are you able to help me? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Looking for the warehouse with the red markings on it. Let's see. Unlikely that this warehouse has the goods. Can I ask you a question? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. A sailcloth? Is that it? That symbol up there? Excuse me, just one question. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Should be it. Sailcloth warehouse should be it. Alright, here we go. Line up with the I see with the cylinder over there. Okay, so that's two, three, one instead. Let's 
two, one, three. Let's how about two, one, three. So one more beach. Two, one, three should have been three, two, four. Aha! Gotcha. Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. Mold. That's why you don't leave sailcloth lying out. Good quality, but torn in many spots. of marks on this end. The scratches are fresh, left by something metallic. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? This crank saw some use. The layers of rust will prevent any movement. Duck. No one's used it in a very long time. Well oiled and well maintained. Sounds fresher. Fit for a crank. Yeah, that crank from down the. Well, let's go back. Passage, just as I expected. That's clever. Wait here, Watson, and keep an eye on the doors. I'll scout the premises. Will do. Be careful down there.
hell is this? Wait. What's happening? Where am I? Strangely cold. Something is missing. This cannot have been under the port of London all along. Is it an illusion? The only way forward is the abyss. Hmm. The only way forward is the abyss. Hmm. Does that mean I have to fall off? I didn't die. Sucks up here. It is icy cold and pulsating. Do I fall off again? Somewhere else. How? It's harder to breathe here. What is that? stairs right through me.
is really, really creepy. That's pretty cool. As you walk, it forms a bridge or a path. It stares right through me. That's a trip. Hmm. Head is already spinning. Spin. When will this end? Can't save, okay. There are two recesses. just happened. Frozen and pulsing almost like it has a heart.
Stench. A strange stone. It almost feels alive. I... did I get out? John? What is it, Holmes? Holmes, where are you? Holmes, Holmes, are you all right? Uh, fine. Watson, um, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Fine? By Jove, you should have heard the way you called out my name. It was just a game of shadows. I'm glad. This place gives me the chills. What are we dealing with? Something that's finally interesting. Cyanosis of the lips, marks on the neck. This man was strangled. His abdomen is severely bloated. This prick. It seems made for simple experiments. I wager they could not afford a better set. This box contained a narcotic substance, much like the one in Kimihia's brazier. Black Edelweiss Institute established 17 something. At least two At least dozen dust. attendants, all identical and made of tin. An American passport, Amos Colby. Someone got their hands dirty painting this with blood. Message. 
Massachusetts. I've never seen a pattern like this before. Old blood stains. Maglana fa, Cthulhu, Rilia, Waganagal, Fatagan. What? What? A, what's on earth? How is that possible? I hope we are close to finding our answers. This place is unsettling. Potent. This sensor has more narcotic residues. Miserable food, mass produced. Oh, potent. This sensor has more narcotic residues. A small blood stain, but not serious. it would take to carry this crate, let alone break it. Deep scratches. God, there are different bodies in these boxes. What on earth? It looks like the scribbling of madmen. Holmes, are you sure you've left no stone unturned? These clothes are missing buttons. They were forcefully removed.
systems. They were forcefully removed. Dumpra, a staple of Lecturemen's attire in Nepal, gathered from dozens of people at the very least. Oh, I must have seen this one before. That explains my hallucinations. rope work, cut by a finer blade. These clothes were crudely cut off someone, an American judging by the style. Someone used mud to draw a cross in a rectangle. Why? some of a man and a woman.
out. Duh, never mind. I had the bloody tip on the knife. Many people were brought to this place. Their abductors stripped off their clothes and discarded them in a pile. The prisoners were kept in a soporific trance by the use of narcotics. A few tried to resist, but alas, in vain. After a few days, everyone was stuffed in a crate and sent elsewhere. Only one captive was left behind. He was strangled to death on this altar. Happening, Holmes. Calm yourself. It cannot be. What is it? Please tell me we found all we needed to, Holmes. I think we found a bit more than that. Yet we have no clue as to where those people have been taken. And that's where you're wrong, Watson. We have more than enough. I just need to connect the dots. How about you pack your suitcase in the meantime, my dear fellow? Just in case. Sucks to be him. <laughs> the other doctor would be sent to. Send us the advice to the institute somewhere. Let's see. Did I do that? So we gotta go to Switzerland?
Institute Education. Mental illnesses and, and addictions, added by Professor Gygax. Oh, Dr. Oh, Watson, man. how does a trip to Switzerland sound to you? It sounds unexpected. What makes you think we should head there? It's all about the box with narcotics and Mr. Colby's clue, the cross inside a rectangle. Put two and two together, add a dash of research, and what do you get? The Black Edelweiss Institute in Interlaken, Switzerland. If we hurry, we can still catch tonight's train. As grateful as I have been for your company, Dr. Watson, I'm afraid you shall have to investigate Edelweiss alone. Alone? Mr. Holmes, I fear you overestimate my abilities. Nonsense. You are a military man, a bastion of British courage. I'm no such thing. As a doctor, I avoided most combat, save for one dreadful day. My troop was ambushed in a village with innocents caught in the crossfire. Too many to help. The man with the rosary. He was one of them? A translator, yes. We were trapped. Six soldiers and myself. I thought it was the end. But Lieutenant Paget refused to go quietly. The men prepared for a final stand. I rose to follow, but Paget shook his head. He told me to run. That I had other men to save. They charged, and I fled through the rear. So you see, Mr. Holmes, I am a coward. The logic seems inescapable. Yes. You, a surgeon by trade, would have been perfectly useless in that conflict. What? No. And how many men have you helped since? Ailments eased, troubles tended? No more than a handful. Truth be told, I have become somewhat of a recluse. How many people could you help with 30 years ahead of you? Dozens? Hundreds? Patrick was correct. You can cease your self-recrimination. Holmes, I... I don't know what to say. I would start with, I am Dr. John Watson, may I look around? Edelweiss staff will doubtless be eager to show off their facility to a fellow physician. I have already taken the liberty of sending a letter on your behalf to request a visit. And what of you? I shall be pursuing other avenues. Should you see anything troublesome or improper, simply notify the local authorities. Otherwise, try a little analysis yourself. You know my methods. Apply them. I'm really loving where the story's trending right now, so we're gonna end the episode over here. Looks like we found. I'm sorry. Looks like we found out where. Well, we found more on the port of London, but apparently we did not find Camilla. But we did find one Amos. What was his name? Uh, Amos Crosby was his name. 
uh, from from Massachusetts. Apparently, he was investigating some disappearances as well too before he met his untimely fate. So, uh, next episode looks like we're in control of Dr. John Watson, but at the same time, we'll see where Sherlock is at. So, stay tuned for the next episode. It should be really exciting. Get to investigate what this place is all about. Uh, well, that's some. I thought that'd be a picture. That's a. Or that would be a map, but that's a picture. But uh, other than that, guys, you will. I will see you guys later. Um, I'm gonna check out this fight, Javante uh, uh, Davis, Ryan Garcia. But I'll see you in the next episode shortly, guys. So uh, take care, and I'll see you later.